Hello. Today I'm going to be showing you how to remove malicious files by help me at freespeechmail.org. For those of you who don't know that, what that is, this is a ransomware virus that encrypts the files with the help me at freespeechmail.org extensions. Now, we're going to remove this thread first and then we're going to show you how to decrypt it. But first, you need to isolate it. For that, you need to switch off your Wi Fi, your internet access. You can do it manually, you can do it from your computer. Okay, now let's remove the thread first. Open any anti-malware tool, I decided to use this one, and scan your computer with it to remove it automatically. As you can see, I've started the scan here, I've found several other threads as well. And now, uh, with the purpose of not wasting your time, I'm gonna pause this video. Okay, so, after the threads have been detected, you just simply press fix threads. These are unknown objects, as you can see. Uh, there are some objects that you can trust. You should enable. Well, and you should apply the fix afterwards. Now we see here removal process, and it's removing threads. Okay, so after the files have been removed by this ransomware on your computer, it's time to uh, decrypt your files. Here we have an example of an encrypted file. Uh, for this file, we used Rackney Decryptor from Kaspersky. You can download it uh, if you Google Rackney Decryptor in Google or from the link in the description. Uh, simply open it. You will see this window right here, and you should click on Start Scan. It will open a specified path type of File Explorer, just locate the file you want to decrypt and click on open. Here we see that they warn us password recovery can take significant time, up to several days. That's true, it usually takes several hours. And now is the waiting game. For those of you who have laptops and computers and they have settings to automatically sleep, or shut down, you should change those power settings since this may take several hours. Uh, the decryption process, as you can see here, it scans and decrypts automatically files. Uh, you can see here on the system tray, you have the power icon, click on it, and then you should click on more power options. Okay, now so here, here we are in the power options menu. This is your power plan here. From here you can click on change plan settings and you should set everything to never. Basically you shouldn't set but put the computer to sleep to minutes, it should be to never since you can allow Kaspersky decryptor to work successfully. So that's all folks. Uh, good luck with the successful decryption of your files and I hope this helps. Have a nice day.